So in this video, I want to discuss position, displacement, and distance. We know now that physics is about the basics, the, the fundamentals of nature, of science. So one of the basics is the position of something. We will discuss that. We will also discuss when, uh, displacement and distance. All right. Those three things are the topic of this video. All right. One way you can describe, let's say, the position along a line is you could mark, you can give a name to every point on the line. So let me do s something like that here. And now we could say that if, and let's say, let's call this the x axis. All right. Now, if somebody or a, some object or whatever, let's say, was where this red dot is, we would say that the position is x equal to 2. All right? If something was at, let's say, the position of this green dot, we would say that it has a position of x equal to minus 3. All right. Now we can clearly extend this. We could have axes, perpendicular axes, more than one axis. We can have a, a, an x and a y axis and that would allow us to describe positions in, on a surface, on a plane, on a sheet of paper. All right. And then we would have an ordered pair, x comma y. We could also have three perpendicular axes and then we could describe positions in space x comma y comma z all right but for now we'll just focus on one dimension all right so position can one way to represent position is with numbers numbers one or more numbers and we can give the along direct certain directions we can get we can assign a variable to that all right now suppose something moved from the red dot to the green dot and we wanted to know what how what was the distance that it traveled okay let me give some units let's say that these numbers are separated by a centimeter a single centimeter all right so at the distance between any two neighboring numbers is one centimeter so now, if somebody, some object, some ant, whatever, moves from the red dot to the green dot, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five um, hops. You might say that it had to traverse. All right. So therefore, the distance that it traveled from one position to the other is five centimeters. Now, let's point out a few things. Let me point out a few things. First of all, distance is always positive, okay? Just like nobody ever says that they're minus six feet tall, nobody ever says that they're driving down the freeway at negative 65 miles per hour, certain, certain um, parameters are just understood to always be positive, all right? Age, uh, speed, distance, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, no, distance doesn't make it clear if you moved five centimeters to the left or to the right. It only tells you how much you moved, okay? So sometimes that's not good enough. Sometimes we want to know the distance as well as the direction. And the sign of, of uh, we, we can use plus and minuses to, to, to denote which direction along the x-axis. Okay, so once you start also being interested in direction, now you're talking about something called displacement. Okay, and distance is pretty clear what it is. It's, it's the length that you travel. Displacement, in this case, we're going to define as the final x value. So let me denote that with a little f there, subscript minus the the value at the beginning we could use an i for the initial value 
Um, another value that's com subscript that's commonly used is a zero. Zero means the beginning. If you think about a stopwatch, right? You press the button to start the, the stopwatch. At the very beginning, the how much time has elapsed is zero seconds, right? So that's that's one way to understand why we re sometimes refer to the beginning variable value with a subscript of zero. Now physicists will also instead of saying x sub zero you'll also see them say x naught okay the i believe in british english the number zero is sometimes called naught now don't quote me on this but i believe it's spelled n-a-u-g-h-t but i'm not british and that's not critical to this class but if you hear me sometimes say x naught or why not you'll know that I'm um, referring that means a zero subscript zero alright very good so <clears throat> now in fact we will be we will be doing this notion of taking a finding the difference between different variable values we will do that so much in this class that we actually <clears throat> excuse me we actually have a abbreviation for that okay whenever we want to know the the difference between the final and initial value will use a triangle symbol like this okay and that dig that signifies some final value minus some initial value okay now it's we don't actually call it a triangle it's actually a Greek from the Greek alphabet it's called the Delta symbol okay so you'll see me say Delta X or Delta Y or Delta whatever variable I want to take the corresponding difference for all right so let's do some examples and I will use the the Delta notation just to get us used to it to find the displacement all right so let's say that in we went from the let's let me put a couple more dots on the on the whiteboard so let's say we went to let me put it I'll put a blue dot there and then let me put one more how about a yellow dot right right there okay so what I want you to do is I want you to tell me uh, in fact maybe I should type this out so that it's clear I'll leave the definition of displacement and I'll type on the very top um, what is the distance and displacement for the motion from the red to the blue dot all right think about that and then what about from the <clears throat> let's how about from the blue to the yellow dot let's do both of those okay and then we'll end this video so think about that, pause the video if you have to, and then I'll work it out shortly. So from the red to the blue dot, I'm, I'm going to do the displacement first. So the displacement is 4 minus 2, so two positive 2 centimeters, okay? And the distance is and by the way if you wanted to describe the distance in terms of our fancy new delta notation we would say we would say it this way we know the distance has to be positive right so use the absolute value symbol those two bars like that so the absolute value of the answer that we just got would give us two centimeters all right so there that takes care of that question now let's do the next one. What about from the blue to the yellow dot? Okay, so first displacement, delta x this time again. And the this is important. The order matters. Okay, you'll always, always, always see me do final minus initial. Never initial minus final. Okay, delta always means final first. Otherwise, you're, you're, you'll get a different sign than everybody else. All right, so blue to the yellow. So one minus 4 so that gives negative 3 centimeters for the displacement okay and 
Then for the distance, we simply take the absolute value, so the distance will be positive 3 centimeters. All right?